Let's explore the airport information feature in Smart Charts. Shown on the screen here is the current FAA airport diagram for Chicago O'Hare Airport. Due to the size and complexity of this airport, fitting all this relevant information into a single page static chart results in the chart being hard to read with lots of clutter. When we look at the airport info for O'Hare, Using smart charts, we are presented with an airport diagram that is much easier to read. The labeling of the objects on the airport diagram is generated dynamically, meaning the size and position of the labels are automatically adjusted for optimal viewing when pilots zoom in and zoom out or pan around. You can also see airport elements such as approach lighting systems, runway hold short lines, non-movement area boundaries, and windsock depiction in color, which can be a helpful situational awareness tool when navigating on the ground. Another design using smart charts that helps declutter the airport diagram is the frequencies of the airport are now listed in the comms pop-up window, toggled on and off by the comms button at the top. Instead of having to search for the desired frequency among a lengthy list in small font and in close proximity to other items on the airport diagram, pilots can access this well-organized list of airport frequencies with just a single button press when using smart charts. A legend of the symbols used is available by tapping on this frequency. Another way smart charts helps reduce pilot workload is the integration of information into a single airport diagram. With conventional charts, chart supplements, takeoff minimums, and alternate minimums are all separate documents. But with smart charts, these are all contained within an airport diagram. Simply switch to the details, runway slash departure, and alternate minimums tabs with these buttons. Let's consider our example flight and start by reviewing our departure airport KONT. We can open up the airport diagram to review the airport layout. After zooming and panning around the diagram, select reset and zoom to center to return to the default zoom level. The NOTAMS button opens up a pop-up window for you to review NOTAMS at this airport. Notice that runway 26 right is closed, so we'll need to plan on using 26 left instead. Press this button to revert to the conventional charts. Next, select the Details tab to bring up additional information previously found in the Airport Facilities Directory section of the chart supplement. We can then switch to the Runway slash Departure tab for the list of runways. Select a runway for additional details. Takeoff procedures and minimums for that runway can also be accessed. Use this to review the takeoff minimums, obstacle departure procedures, and obstacle notes for the runway of intended use. Assume that we are considering the Scottsdale Airport's KSDL as the alternate. To evaluate if this is a viable choice, open the airport diagram for this airport and select the alternate minimums tab. Select the approach category of your aircraft and adjustments and the alternate minimums can be reviewed based on the approach and runway expected. By integrating these functions into the airport diagram, pilots can have a more streamlined process of looking up airport information during pre-flight preparation.